Hello everyone, it's Sunday Fun Day, and look where I am again! No surprise here, really, just because it's pretty much around the corner, and hopefully today I shall actually be explaining a little bit of what the canal did, and what some of the parts of the canal are, and how they work. So hopefully this will work out. Um, I think I'm gonna head towards where I normally do my bike riding today, and Maybe I'll actually start off going the other way because I'm gonna see if my friend's home, but we'll see. Be back later. So I started up the one way and it is just so muddy because it rained last night and I thought it would be, I mean, a little, oops, bad a little slushy, but this is like giant puddles. I'm covered in mud, my bike's covered in mud. We're still, there we go. The bike's covered in mud. So, I got up the general store and now I'm going to head back. The unfortunate thing about um, my riding on the canal is that a lot of areas on the canal are in disrepair right now. And um, it's leaving a lot of segments that are unconnected. Um... Like up ahead here, I ran into this problem um, last Friday when I was coming from the other way. I didn't know this, but this little section here is closed. And you might think, oh, well, I could probably just ride through that anyway. But it's actually a section of the towpath that is cut out. Not sure what they're doing, but I really wish they would move it along and... That way I can do a really nice ride. Um, I'm actually going to stop right now, take a little break. And then, um, look at the mud. i got to wash my bike off when I get home. But, um, mud on me. But, under a nice bridge right now. And we're going to relax a little bit before I ride back. Um, I think right now I did 10 miles. That's because I went a little further up and then back, but I think it's going to be a total of 15 miles. And then after this, I might stop at a farm market on my way home. I actually passed it on the trail, and um, I might take you with me. So, or at least do like a small farmer's market haul, I guess you would like to call it. Um, let me show you, if I remember to bring my snack, but I have for a snack. I had a pretty big breakfast. I had a half a Belton waffle. So if you think it's a seven inch waffle um, in half, then I had a pancake, four pieces of bacon, and about, uh, I want to say half a cup of home fries. And this bike ride is probably going to burn most of that off. On days like this, I do try my best to eat at least Two or three hundred calories over my goal of twelve hundred ish. I say twelve hundred ish because I never do twelve hundred exactly. I usually go over a few calories. Doesn't matter or not really, since I do so much activity and my job is very active, so I'm not quite worried about it. And while you know, I'm showing you an picture picturesque view of everything. Um, this week I lost I think 1.1 pound which is pretty good and you know I probably would have lost more if I actually kicked my butt in gear and went for my regular walks but my dog got attacked by another dog um, this past week. Thursday's all blur because I was home worried about him <sighs> even though he was perfectly fine of a Spider trying to make a web on me, but I'm all really sweaty. Ah, it's on my phone now. I'm all sweaty and dirty, so I think uh, you can see him. See? Um, and he's playing. He's being a yo-yo now. Um, I'm gonna get the spray off my hand, and I'll be right back. All right, so on my way back, I stopped somewhere for you guys. These. This is not a really good place to stop, but. Lily was hogging the other view. These are the knock mixing cliffs. 
the cliff's face is a little bit better back that way. Maybe I can find a picture or something for you um, to look at, but over here it says the Nakmixon Cliffs soar 300 feet above the riverbed. This Bucks County geologic wonder was formed eons ago when molten lava from the Earth's crust transformed sandstone and shale into a harder rock. Unlike the New Jersey side south facing cliffs where cactuses flourish, these north facing cliffs sport rare Arctic alpine plant life. The only place where one of the species known to grow in the the only place where one of the species is known to grow south of Maine. The cliffs extend three miles along the Delaware River between Narrowsville and Hintnersville, providing a splendid view for sightseers. Admire waterfalls of ice in winter and blanket, blankets of Dutchman's breech, breeches, birches, I'm sorry, no, breeches, birches, in spring. Join bird, rot, bird watchers who have come to this spot for centuries. Picnic, fish, or boat in the vicinity. Delaware Canal State Park maintains Nockmiston Cliffs as a state park natural area, protecting its valuable natural resource for your safety and that of plant and animal communities. Climbing the rocky outcrop is not allowed. Much to climbers' disappointment. And on the other side of this sign, um, oh, I'm sorry, I dropped you. Um, oh, why is there a split? There's a split. Why is there? Why is that doing that? I'm sorry. All right, I have no clue what I did, but um, this just details a little bit about the Delaware River and the fish and um, marine life that live here. Um, man may control nature, but not the Delaware. The longest free-flowing river in the eastern United States. Without dams and dikes, the river hosts migratory fish. American shad, striped bass, and American eel traveling upstream and downstream to spawning grounds. Fish need clean water. The Delaware River Basin Commission found in 1961 battles pollution, making our treasured environmental resource attractive for wildlife and recreation and drinkable for more than 17 million people who rely on the water from the river as its, and its tributaries. In 2000, contract Congress designated most of the stretch between Delaware Water Gap, which is north of here, and Washington Crossing Historic Park, which I want to go to and take you to see, part of the National Wild and Scenic River Systems. Ever wonder why rivers bend? Why they're narrow in some places? Moving water caves landscapes, carves landscapes where it can, and that is softer, sedimenta softer sedimentary rock wear away more easily than harder metamorphic rocks. Behind you tower knock mixing cliffs. Because the river can't cut through cliffs, the cliff's metamorphic rock, it flows around it, making this narrow channel one of the Delaware's many faces. So, the river can't cut through there, it cuts through the softer rock here. So it, instead of going through the cliffs, it actually has to go around them because of the type of rock. And right there, um, this is probably not the best lock I could show you. Um, the best lock is probably in New Hope. I'm not going there today, but hopefully, I think I'll go up to where I started and I'll explain how a lock works there. All right, let me get back on my bike.